Hello guys, before we do a test firing, I wanted to quickly talk through the differences between 1.3G and 1.4G hazard types for those that don't know. So to put it simply, with regards to cakes and compounds, 1.4G is now considered on par with 1.3G. This is because after years of firework development, the effects and colours are now of the same standard. The only real difference is the bangs, 1.3G does tend to be louder. So for the purpose of this video we're looking at rockets and that's because 1.4G rockets have always been considered substandard. The reason for this is because of the restrictions on the powder content. A 1.4G rocket can only have up to 20 grams of powder. To make matters worse, only 5% of this powder can be flash. So in the best case scenario, a 1.4G rocket will only ever have a maximum of one gram of flash. Whereas a 1.3G rocket can have up to 10 times the powder and up to 40 times the amount of flash. So in the 1.3G corner, we have a Skywars rocket by Firework King. We also have a Bazooka Bomb by Epic. In order for this video to be mildly scientific, they all have the same effect, which is a green peony. Both of these rockets have 14 grams of powder. In the 1.4G corner, we have a Firework King Sky Attack rocket. Again, it has a green peony and 14 grams of powder. Just for a laugh, we also have an Esco Star Chaser. This has a green peony, but just nine grams of powder. The reason I'll be firing it amongst the other three rockets is just because it's of a similar size. So bear with me, we'll fire these rockets and we'll look at the difference between 1.3G and 1.4. So in comparison, the most noticeable differences were not only the size of the bursts, but also the shape of the bursts. As you can see, the 1.3G bursts on the left not only have twice the amount of stars over the 1.4G equivalent, but the shape of the bursts are also much more rounded and spherical. The 1.4G rockets have a burst similar to Smarties being poured out of a tube, and the stars seem to instantly fall downwards as if they were being poured out of a watering can. The 1.3G rockets have sufficient flash powder to create a fully outward and circular burst like that most would expect. The colours on the 1.3G rockets as shown on the left are also much more vivid. The greens were bright with a luminous glow whereas the 1.4G rockets had less vivid stars which were almost white in colour with only a hint of green. Finally the 1.3G rockets were by far the loudest. I firstly fired the 1.4G Firework King Sky Attack and although it was generally impressive for a 1.4G rocket, I would rate the volume as a mere 4 out of 10. I then fired a Firework King 1.3G Sky Wars rocket which was noticeably the loudest and was the only rocket to give an echo. I rate the volume of this rocket as 8 out of 10.
The 1.4G Esco Star Chaser was pretty pathetic and its launch was more spectacular than its burst. It had a very slight pop which was barely audible and I would rate it as one for loudness. Finally, the 1.3G Epic Bazooka Bomb had a surprise crackle burst and was the only rocket with multiple effects. The bang was louder than both 1.4G rockets and I rate the loudness as 7 out of 10. So as you can see, 1.3G rockets are louder, have larger bursts, brighter colours, a more spherical outwards explosion and are generally far superior to their 1.4G counterparts. Thankfully 1.4G rockets are now becoming fairly scarce these days as companies now pyro mesh 1.3G rockets to recast them as 1.4 for transportation purposes. My advice would always be to steer clear of 1.4G rockets as for not a lot of extra money you can buy far superior 1.3G rockets which will offer far better value for money. So like always thank you for watching and I'll post up another video soon.